So this small tweak will make a tremendous difference to your drives in both distance and accuracy. So all we're doing here is making that club face squarer coming into impact. So I see so many golfers present the club face to the ball with driver extremely open, but that club face is open quite a bit prior to impact where it's pointing massively out towards the right here. So when we present that very open club face to the golf ball, to functionally make that work, quite often we have to cut across the golf ball, just kind of swing out to win, which that in combination with that open club face might get you to hit it somewhat to target, but you'll hit a big slice. But it won't only do that, it will also cause you to have what we call a glancing blow across the golf ball, which will severely reduce your ball speed. So of course, if we're slicing the ball, that's not gonna be going to our target. But also, if we're glancing blowing the golf ball, we're not gonna be hitting it very far at all. You can pick up a tremendous amount of distance and accuracy by just making sure this club face is more square to the swing arc going through that golf ball. So first things we gotta do, we gotta identify why that club face is quite open to the arc as we're approaching the golf ball. So the obvious one, of course, grip. Let's say we've got a really weak grip with one hand or the other. Most likely we're gonna present an open club face to the golf ball, we're gonna get that shot type. Let's say we're this scenario, and this scenario here is extremely common with the students that come to me for lessons on Skillist, is they will be awesome at the top of the backswing. Let's say they've got a standard grip also, club face is nice and square here at the top. And then I'll see them gradually extend that left wrist, or cup is another word, coming into the downswing. So their left wrist is getting more and more cupped. And then as they're approaching impact, look how wide open that club face is gonna be presented to that golf ball. We don't want that. We're gonna get that slice, the glancing blow, gonna hit it wayward and not far at all. So we wanna really keep that left wrist flat as we're coming down in the downswing. Let's say if we've got a standard grip. So then we're gonna be keeping that club face square to the arc and then we're nicely gonna be square at the point of impact, delivering that golf ball nicely. Our path will be way easier to control. We won't have to manipulate it by making this open club face work. We won't suffer with some casts every now and again. That's what a lot of you will do because of this. And we will hit these much better drives in strike direction and distance too. So let's do a really simple drill to be able to keep this left wrist flatter and present that better club face to the ball. All we need is a tee, we need a glove. Put the tee in the front side of the glove. Now it's gonna become very obvious when you cut that left wrist now, because it's gonna hurt. When you cut that left wrist, it will jab the tee into your forearm. Don't want to do that, of course. We wanna keep that tee flat on that wrist as we're coming through the ball there. So we want that staying flat all the way through the shot. That's gonna keep that club face square to the arc if you've got that nice standard grip. And then you're gonna be hitting those straighter and longer drives for it. So just preventing this tee from stabbing me. So the key to this is continue to get reps to where you feel like this tee is still in your glove when you're out on the golf course. So making sure that you're utilizing your practice swings nicely, get a good few of them in between shots, make sure that tee isn't jabbing you. You can do it perfectly every time of a practice swing. Don't be silly and neglect practice swings. I see so many of you at the driving range, ball after ball after ball, absolute rubbish practice. So get your practice swings in there, rep it out and continue to do the drill. So keep that left wrist flat. That's gonna keep that club face tracing the arc nice and square. You're gonna be hitting longer drives for it for better ball speed and you're gonna be having less curvature out towards the right with that slice also. So if you enjoyed this video, of course, click that like button. If you have more golf instruction just like this, hit a subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So let's keep this left wrist flatter to hit these better drives.